Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Eric here. I uh, just wanted to show you a little tool that I threw together for uh, an EDX class that I'm taking. Um, possibly some of you are actually in the class that are, if you're viewing this, because I'll most likely post it on the forums there. Um, pretty much, it's basically just a tool that allows you to take multiple files, like you know, we have course, degree, program, student, all these CS, C sharp files that we want to kind of uh, submit as one file, since they don't really give you a way to um, you know, submit multiple files. Uh, so basically I've given you a URL to kind of my GitHub project that I've uh, put this up in one of the releases. Uh, if you look at this, this is kind of the one you want if you just want to install it. If you're curious about the source, source, um, you know, what code is involved to make this, uh, this is the actual file that you want to download. So uh, if you click this, it'll obviously download it. I'm going to go ahead and use one that I've already downloaded, which is the exact same one. Um, actually, I guess I didn't didn't even delete that but uh, so I'll just right click on this and drag it to the desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and extract to its own file once you've got that file you can kind of open that up and there's a couple uh, URLs here or sorry URLs there's a couple files here the one I'm going to use to install this is just this application which is basically what you use to run it essentially and if it's not installed it'll give you a little warning and of course since I haven't registered um, you know with uh, Windows developers um, and paid them money. <laughs> it's going to come up as a security warning. Feel free to take a look at the code if you're worried about any um, security issues. Um, if you're not, if you feel comfortable installing it, go ahead and click install, and that'll run the application directly after finishing the install. And of course, right away we can see that I have some text that I forgot to remove when I was testing the UI layout. So it's just going to bring up a simple UI here, and you know it's resizable. This pane on the left won't resize. Oh, apparently I gave that um, kind of a, well, I need to fix that. This should resize as big as I want it to, and it's not right now, of course. Um, so basically what this kind of entails is grabbing these files. Um, just to give you an idea, first off, I'm going to go ahead and throw in degree.cs, and it just got, it's just got a little list box here that kind of indicates, um, you know, which files you've got. And there's no functionality to that actual list box yet, so. Um, so pretty much what it's going to do here is show you just the source source code for that one individual file. It's going to you know include everything. And now if I want to include another one, I really don't want to duplicate say like the you know using statements, and I don't want to duplicate the namespace if they're the same. Uh, right now I've only got the functionality built in to do one namespace. So I'm just going to drag that file and drop it right in here, and you can see that it added course above here, so it's going to order these uh, according to the order that they're inserted in the uh, final source file. And I've got a little header here, or a little comment that indicates that the following, the code that's following here, is going to be from the course.cs file. And you can see that it, you know, put in the two using statements, and they're of course, of course, uh, you know, listed as they should be typically in your uh, source files, and that's alphabetized. And so, and if I scroll down a little bit here, there's no, <laughs> there's no scroll bar here yet. So submit a feature request for that if you want on my repository and I'll get that built in as I definitely want one too. Um, I, I'm just using the mouse wheel right now, of course. And so now you can see the degree.cs. It's completely separated. The formatting looks okay, uh, at least the way that I like the formatting personally. And then, you know, it finishes the whole file. Um, got all the brackets that you need, etc. So now what I'd really like to do is kind of show you as well, like what happens when I add, you know, all three of these course.cs, degree.cs, and person.cs when I've already got them in the list. And it'll check to make sure that they don't exist and it'll only add the one that um, is necessary. And you can see that, of course, I wasn't using system. So since I added person.cs and that's using system, it actually added uh, system to the using list. Uh, let's see, another thing as well, program.cs, and you really don't need to worry about any of this if you've already gotten all the, the information you need for this, go ahead and just stop the video. Um, but one thing I wanted to show you is that if I add program.cs, it knows that it's got my main in there. And I really, as far as like looking at a combined source file, I'd really like to see that first. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that, and it's gonna put that above all of the other ones. Now the other ones are alphabetized, makes it easier to find them in the, in the single file. Uh, you can really override the functionality in there if you want to change the way it works. Uh, but for now, it's just basically alphabetizing the name. And then if the two names are the same, it actually alphabetizes based on the, uh, 
the actual directory that it's contained in. So if I mouse over to gree.cs, it tells me the directory it's contained in, and of course they're all in the same directory right now. But if I had multiple course.cs files, or I had separate, you know, separating directories for my project and or solution, and I wanted to, you know, add two course.cs, it was it would alphabetize them by first their name and then second if the name is the same it would alphabetize them by the string that contains their full path so um, anyway you can see that uh, let's see right here I've got this class program and this is the one that contains the void main and that that's of course that's what I want to see first I want to see everything in main or in this class program uh, before I see anything else and because that's usually going to contain all my driver logic and you know all the functions that I'm going to be calling, all the classes that I'll be calling will be contained in you know future files, so that's going to go first. And then again, you know, if I wanted to, and I really should have some functionality here to clear the list. So again, if you want functionality to clear that list in case you add something wrong or you add too many files, um, I'd like something on each file to remove it, and I'd also like something to just clear the entire list, like a you know clear all button down here or a minus button down here or something. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these files that I want to put in there because when I'm going to turn that into EDX, I of course want every single file that I have in my project. And now of course I've got all my usings, they're alphabetized as they should be, and, and you can change that if you like them different, you can if you like them spaced, like if you want all this system.collection stuff to be in its own little chunk, you could do that too, you can override the way it works. Um, and then I'm, you know, I'm just scroll down here to make sure it's got degree, it's got person, uh, you know, it's got student, and what else does it need? Teacher, and you program. And so it's got everything, and it's got the final closing brace. And then really all you have to do now is just control A, control C to select all and paste. And then I'm going to test it and make sure it worked by, because I've already submitted the EDX solution. And I'll just paste it in here and make sure that it has everything I want. And sure enough, it looks like it does. So, And then what you can do is instead of pasting it in here, paste it into EDX and save it, of course, before submitting. And uh, actually, it might automatically do that when you paste it in. So uh, yeah, so go ahead and try to use it, see what you think. If you want anything changed and you don't, you don't need to send me an email or anything like that, what you're going to do is basically go to um, this entire you know, you're already on here, right? So you've gone here to this repository. Uh, if you're just on this repository, whether you're there or whether you're on this releases, uh, you know, link that I've sent, there's some icons over here. What you want to do is find this guy. You want to go to issues. You want to create a new issue. And then um, where you're going to label this thing, you would just put in labels for uh, like a bug. If you find a bug or you want an enhancement, let's say you want me to include some feature and then you would go here and say uh, what would we call this feature what do we want we want a side scroll bar so um, maybe source code text box or yeah I did, I did it is a text box uh, text box scroll bar please for the love of God add a scroll bar yeah we don't need to use the proper yeah so scroll bar to the main text box that displays if I could type it'd be great the source and then submit that and I mean you can preview it if you want to whatever it doesn't matter and submit the issue and so what that'll do is create an issue I'll know there's an issue and then I'll start working on that now if you really want to um, you know do it yourself I will assume you know how to do that and uh, if you don't maybe I'll make a video later on about doing that so anyway let me know what you think if you like it if you don't like it whatever you know uh, if you don't like it tell me why uh, maybe with a reason like hey change this and I'll like it or you know, I would just never like it it's terrible anyway <laughs> have a great day and enjoy see you later